So set up Myth TV. Myth TV should work. Um, but I can only obviously show you it on the machine itself. So rather than go straight to that, I'm going to go into um, getting the drivers specifically for my card. Obviously, for your card, it's going to be different. But if you do get one of these turbo site cards, then it's going to be exactly the same procedure as what I'm about to show you um, on the screen. So to get the drivers, you need to go to www.tbsdtv.com. So this is the TBS web page. And let's just shrink this down a bit because it's not fitting on the screen properly. Um, we need to go to support and then download. And then look for the this one here, TBS TV Tuner Card PCIe, because it's a PCIe card. And it's a DVB S stroke S2. So it's this option here I'm going to take for the satellite. This is the one you'd pick if you had a terrestrial. And the particular model I've got is this one here, the 6902 with the dual tuner. And the option I want is the open source Linux driver. So it's the top one here. Uh, this offline package, I believe that's the same as what I'm going about, about to do, which is to fetch it from GitHub. So... Um, as we haven't got Git installed, um, we can either download this package here. Let's have a look. TBS Oven Linux drivers. That's dated 13th of December 2022, so it might be a little bit old. I'll, I'll download that anyway, and we can do a comparison. So I'll copy that. Um, I'll do this in the in my home directory. I'll fetch that. And just compare with the one from um, the Git repository. Uh, so let's copy that link and put that into here. Yes, that's taking us to the GitHub. So this might be an actually a newer version. Um, it tells you how to download it. If we go to the top, uh, sorry, it's not, it's this Linux media we want to go to. Let's see what tags there are. Oh, there isn't any tags, so it's just the latest fuel branches. So master's probably a good one to go for. And then once again, I think because this is, yeah, because it's shrunk down. It's hiding this code. So I'm going to right click this to copy the link. Put this back. Do wget, right click and paste, but change the zip to dot tar dot. GZ yeah unfortunately this one's just called master because it is the master so it's on version but it is a little bit newer than the other one which is um, probably about six months old now um So it looks like this is the date of the 28th of April, this one. So what I'll do when this is finished downloading is I'll just rename it. So we're not getting the bleeding edge, but at least it's more recent than the one that's available on the website.
Okay, so I'll rename this to I'll put the word master in there with the date of the merge. So O four two eight. So that will differentiate it from the other one. Okay, it's a lot bigger actually. That's interesting. I wonder if the other ones are pre-compiled. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Um, oh, and I've renamed it to zip as well. And it's actually a tar GZ. Um, yeah, so I don't think we've got unzip, have we? No. So I can't use that anyway, but I, that looks like that's going to be the compiled binary, which is, I'm not sure how to install that. Um, all the instructions everywhere I've found are, that's probably some, for something like Debian where you just plonk it in, or what, Ubuntu, something like that. Um, all the instructions I've seen have been for building from source, so I'll ignore this other one. In fact, I'll delete it. And just use the sources that I've downloaded. Oh. Right, this looks a bit different to what I was expecting as well, actually. Yes, it is. Um, maybe it's just the best thing to do is to download Git and update it how I did it originally. Uh, Linux Media. Okay, we're going to have to install some other packages, I think. I'll forget this. I thought this might be a quick way of getting it installed, but I'm not really sure what to do here without investigating it thoroughly. So, I'll just go through the steps for getting Git. Hopefully, we won't need anything else. So we'll go back to the Beyond Linux and Scratch, search for Git. Additional downloads, man pages and documentation. Curl we've got. PCRE2 we've got. That's for reviewing repositories. Yeah, we can... Oh, we need... IOS socket SSL IOS socket runtime for Git send mail to connect. All oh, right, we don't need that. Okay. Yeah, so I think it's just the Git program we need. So let's go back to sources BLFS. Fetch the archive. Extract it. And I'll start with the configure. I'll just check these uh, documentation. Not needed if you installed. So the man pages. So yes, if you want the man pages, then you need to download that as well. And HTML docs, you'll need to download that. But so I'm not really bothering with that sort of stuff. Um, 
Let's put that in. Git config. Python 3. With the PCR, user switch of PCRE 2 is installed and that has been built with a non default JIT enabled, right? So we did that. So we need to put that in. With the PCRE. Right, we didn't install. Well, I'm not sure if we have got the original PCRE, but we'll use the newer version. So let's get that running. Okay, and build the package. Right, so that's built. Um, it says here the test suite can be run in parallel mode. So I'll run it. I'm not sure if it will actually run in parallel automatically if I've got to specify it. Um, I'm looking at top on another screen and it does seem to be running in parallel, so that's good.
Right, so that's finished testing. No failures. Uh, 25,500 tests were run, so that's okay. So let's now install git. Uh, we didn't do the man pages or the HTML docs. So that looks like it's complete. Um, running git server, not running git server, so that is git all done. So I'm going to go back to my home directory. I haven't got anything in there. And carry on. Uh, with this uh, command here. So from the um, tuner driver page, this is the link that I use. So just open that in a new tab. Let's get rid of that one. This is the link that I'll be using to download. So first of all, we run this git command here. Put that in. And then this command here. Make sure you pick up the rest of the line. It's off the screen. Certainly it's on this browser. Yes, yeah, because it's so narrow. <clears throat> so paste that in. Uh, right, yes, to see that hasn't even copied properly. So let's... All oh, right, I did copy it there. There's a... A copy button. Yeah, that's better. <clears throat> so that's probably better to use rather than highlighting it and copying it. So skip past the instructions for CentOS and Ubuntu. When it's downloaded, these are the instructions that I'm going to be following. Now, unfortunately, there are some dependencies that will need to be installed beforehand. So what I'm going to do is to download those first. And install them rather than faff around like I did with Myth TV. While that's downloading, I'll go to the first one, um, which is lsdiff. It has to be downloaded from GitHub. And this is the URL, github.com forward slash T-W-A-U-G-H forward slash patch utils. And I'll get the next one ready as well. That's nearly done, which is a Perl module. <clears throat> so that's HTTPS. I don't need to put that in, do I? CPAN hyphen meta CPAN dot org forward slash authors forward slash ID forward slash J forward slash JW forward slash JWB forward slash proc hyphen process table oh that's the actual file let's see if that works by itself so it did need HTTPS no you can't go to it directly unfortunately so we'll just have to fetch that off the command line Anyway, so the <clears throat> drivers have been downloaded. So what I'm going to do next is to download and install LSDIF. So we need to do um, 
another git command here to fetch this, the git clone eight, well, that URL dot git on the end. So we should have something there called patch utils. Yes, there it is. CD patch utils. Start this with bootstrap. And then configure prefix equals forward slash user. Make to build it. And then make install to install it. So that's that one done. Now we'll fetch the Perl module. Um, reason why I'm doing these here is because they're not really part of BLFS as such. Um, not part of Myth TV, they're just to do with the driver, so it might not be something that will be used on another build, for example. So we're going to do wget, and I'll copy what I've got of this URL here, and then the module is called proc dash process table dash zero point six three five dot tar dot g said oh it's meta hyphen c pen I wasn't sure no c pen dot meta hyphen c pen is that why it couldn't reach the site Let's try that. No, you can't do that either. Okay. HTTPS CPAN dot meta. Oh, no, it's not an iPhone. I can't really see. I've scribbled it down in a hurry. Oh, yes, that's better. Not found. So the URL is correct. Proc dash process table. So let's try this once more. Not found authors. IDJ, JW, JW. The, I wonder if it's supposed to be in capitals or this lot. Um, right, the easiest thing to do is for me to search for it. Proc dash process table. Looks like that's the one. Is there a download here? Download. Right, there it is there. Right, so the <clears throat> initials were in capitals. That's the difference. And it looks like it's been updated to 636 as well. So I'll take that newer version. And I'll just change these to capital J, JW, JWB. That's better. Right, okay, so that is the URL now. I'll get rid of that. Don't need that one anymore. So extract, extract. the module and all I do is just build it in the same way as most other Perl modules in the BLFS book so it's Perl makefile.pl make make test may or may not work it does work and 
and it's passed and then um, make install so that's that module installed so they're the only two requirements that are needed based on what we've built so far so now we can start building the um, driver so you see there's two directories here that were downloaded from the TBS drivers and that's why I wasn't sure about the other one because it only extracted to one directory uh, that's why I didn't want to carry on so what happens here is we go into the media build directory and well as you can see you make you run this command here and then we run this command to set all the options to yes um, I have in the past managed to get this so that it only compiles the driver specific for your card um, I couldn't get it to work this time so there's obviously something else I did or maybe something's changed otherwise I would show that but if I do find out how to do that it does save a bit of time and obviously saves a bit of space as well in that you're not getting drivers for all the TBS cards you, you're only building and configuring for the card that you're interested in um, so like I say if I do do that I'll uh, find out about that I'll uh, document it in another video but for the time being these commands will work well make minus J4 I've got four cores anyway but obviously if you've got a different number of cores you'll, you don't want to put the J4 in so just wait for this to build
Okay, so those modules have been built. Um, now, one thing I should mention, these are modules that are built against the kernel. So if you change the kernel or update the kernel, you will have to build the or rebuild these modules again. So again, that's another reason why it's a bit of a pain that the whole um, lot has to be built when it's probably only, I think it's about four or five drivers or, or files that are actually required um, for just the card that I've got. And I imagine it'd be similar for any other card. So that's the build. So I just need to install these with make install. And that in theory should be it as far as the compiling is concerned. We should now have a fully complete system that allows us to run Myth TV. And in the next video, I'll be logging on to the actual PC itself um, and running the configuration for MythTV and then finally running MythTV and giving a quick demo of it.